what's up guys we back with another lineup update um so before we get into the lineup we'll start with the field pass show y'all what we looking like on um, the playoff promo we finished that i think last week so there's no more i can do in that one super bowl we got four more to go and then we'll be done with this which we just need to keep doing those challenges, which I got burnt out of doing them. It's like 40 challenges, and we did majority of them. A um, couple more things in here we can do to get us there. And again, a couple more things, but yeah, we're good. Um, I started working on the competitive pass today. Um, Really just want the XP from it, really. I can care less about the rewards, but I see there's a, where is it? Right here, they give you a free 94 overall DK Metcalf. That's one of my favorite receivers in the league right now. So if I can get them, that'd be great. But yeah, you just get a whole bunch of XP up here. Like if I can get to level 12, I'd be happy. So we working on that. Um, the actual field pass itself, we're at level 40. Uh, 20,000 more XP, we'll get this air read, which is not my guys, multi guys, so I won't be using them. Um, unless it gets the, all the team Kims and I'll slide them in there back up just for Kim purposes. Um, but like stat wise, all we got left is the tackles. Um, five more days, we'll get another 45k XP, but I mean, that's really it. I'm trying to get to that level 51 so we can get Gronk again. Some Motet guy. I won't be using him. He will be in the lineup for uh, Team Kim purposes because he do get all the Team Kims. So that'll be good to get that. Now let's go to the lineup. And we've been getting lucky, man. Let me show y'all this before we do this. Um, I did the weekly, um, wild card this week, and y'all know it gives you an 88 plus overall. I took a picture, I, I got so hyped, I don't even think I did a video, but we ended up pulling 97 overall. Um, um, dang, what's his name? Damian Pierce, there you go. We ended up pulling him out of the free pack. So we got a free 97 overall. Um, we did upgrade him. He gets Bruiser for free. So more powerful trucks and stiff arm animations and tank for one AP. So here's his stats. 96 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 carrying. Uh, trucking is a 98, break tackle 97. Man is nice. Um, as y'all seen somewhat, we got uh, Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, his AKA card. Man, nice. We've been doing better with him. Um, he got 87 speed, 97 throw power, 93 throw short, 94 mid, 93 deep, uh, 98 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, and 97 play action. So, will he be here for the long haul? It depends. We'll see. What's well, no, once Mike Vick come out, I'm getting Mike Vick. Um, so we got Hot Route, uh, Hot Route Master on for two AP, Fearless for one, and then Gunslinger for three. Which I could have got Gunslinger here, but I couldn't get Fearless. I could have got it here, but I feel like Hot Route Master is better, I think. Because I think when I did it this way, that costs more, that costs more. So that's how I'm rocking it. And then I got even dots. Um, receivers. We got Drake London. Hands down, one of the best receivers in the game. The man is nice. Uh, Fred Blintikoff. I think I pronounced that all wrong. But yeah, this man is nice. Like, I was playing house rules. This man, some of the catch animations he was getting was ridiculous. Did y'all see... Got 99 catching traffic, 97 catching traffic, 96 spec, 
6 1. The man looks a lot smaller than 6 1 out there on the field. I guess because everybody else is big. But it is what it is. Uh, Mike Evans is still here. I feel like if they keep dropping right receiver, his time will come to an end soon. But uh, we've been rocking with him since he first came out. The man's nice. Um, Anquan Bolden, we have, which all of them Black History Month cards, they get all the team cams. So we got Anquan Bolden, which I'm a fan of Anquan Bolden. I remember he had that, um, that honors card and I pulled it. The man was nice. So 96 speed, 99 jumping. Man, card looks nice to be a 93. So I might need to put him out there a little bit. I'm um, still got Roddy here, and I didn't go over these two, which I know CP been here, but uh, work done. Him and wa him watching him and Mike Vick, man, it was a uh, it was spectacular back in the day. That's why I said when they drop another Mike Vick, I want to get him to pair him with work done. 97 speed, 96 to sell. All the other stats is eh, like he's really just a speed back, pretty much. Elusive, which is what he is. So, I mean, that, that's what you get. But the card is nice. Been playing with him for a few games. It works out perfect. Uh, offensive lineman for my free 94 overall Super Bowl player. I picked Trent Brown. Um, This man is nice, too. I think stat-wise, if I remember correctly. Hey, a 96 pass block. 92 run block. Y'all see them other stats. Not bad. And then a move we made today. We picked up this man, Ryan Jensen, the Red Tornado. And something cool about this card. He has this boost, which it boosts both the left guard and right tackle. And they give him plus 7 agility, plus 4 to speed, plus 7 to acceleration, and plus 1 to pass block. Finesse, or excuse me, run block finesse to both the left and right guard. So, with that being said, let's go to my boy Kenyon Green, who I drafted in the fantasy draft last year. If y'all watched, and the man turned out to be playing pretty good this season. So, if y'all look, agility plus seven is a 74, plus four speed is a 74, acceleration is an 84. So, like, on them pulling plays where the guard has to pull, he's a, him and the other guys are going to be amazing. Um, his pass blocking and run block, they're decent. Not the best, but, again, I'm a fan of Kenyon Green, so no need to upgrade right now. Same thing with Jack Anderson. Um, pretty much similar. So, yeah, them guys, when they go to pool, it's going to be amazing. Uh, we got Ryan Rams check here. One of the best right tackles in the league today. Another move we made. We went out and got Travis Kelsey. Man. Um, his deep out elite for 1 AP. Route tech for 0 AP. So anything I put this man on, he getting quick cuts. And the man is gone. Um, attributes. 96 speed. 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, 99 spec, 99 short route running, 97 medium. And his deep route running is, I want to say it was a 94. Where is it? Yep, 94 deep route running. Yep. So, yeah, this man plays amazing. Now, I did see a couple times. I had one with him and the guy I was playing against had one, but he dropped some wide open passes. So, I hope that's not something I see often. So, yeah, we got Travis. Still got Tony here. So, we're going to be running a two-man or a lot of two-man, two tight end sets. Like I said, Rob is only here for Kim reasons, but I can't get the Kim unlocked until he has, um, until I get his 98. But he does have this motivator, motivator thing. Which give all players tackling, jumping, run blocking, run block finesse, pass block power, pass block finesse, and throw under pressure. So that's why he's in the lineup for th uh, that reason. And that's the offense. Um, offense is great right now. I don't think we can get any better. 
I've been looking at receivers, but it's just none out there right now that I want. Like, the D-Hop looks nice, but I heard a lot of people say that car wasn't good. So, yeah, I might stay away from it until his price come down. And I actually, I might put Anquan in the slot. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Defensive side of the ball, not too much to change. Only really two changes, major. Um, we sold Fred, and we sold, um, what's his name, CJ. And then we um, bought some players, sold them for the training, and we opened up some of them training variety packs. And as y'all see, we, 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 we made good on it. Sitting on 1.4 million right now. So with us selling Fred, I went out and got Ray Lewis, one of my favorite linebackers of all time. Him and LT probably. Um, so yeah, and he gets the same abilities Fred got. He got one AP um tackle supreme and then zero AP lurker. And then we went out and got Deron J. Campbell again. He used to be a Falcon. I liked him when he was a Falcon. Like between him and Dion. To me, he had an edge just because he was all around linebacker. Like, he ain't scared to go up the middle, tackle somebody, and he gets tackles. Dion, he was uh, more athletic. He can get up there, get picks, jump up, and all that good stuff. But, like, at the end of his career with the Falcons, you see that didn't work. Like, he couldn't really tackle. He started missing games. I don't know what was going on, but yeah. So we got Devondre, um, another free 94 overall is, no, we did the set for Ray Lewis, and that's how we got Jonathan. So he don't really see the field, but we got him, still got Jalen Phillips down there. Sean Taylor ain't going nowhere until he get an upgrade. We got Richie Grant in for the Kims. Uh, J.J. Watt still here. Shaq Leonard, again, like I said, he's here because of the um, Kim reasons. So, And then Keanu is going to start for us at strong safety. The Honey Badger card, we're running him in the slot. I mean, not the slot. We're running him at the uh, sub linebacker. So I use him most of the time in the box. So Keanu should be, he shouldn't be too bad compared to CJ. Uh, defensive line, William Golston. I want to say I had this man back in the day. I can't remember. I think 2016, 2015, something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. But, yeah, we got him starting at right in. Um, again, Falcons Kim. I want to say, is that under press? No, he gets enforcer for free. So, he can come in and hit you. John Kaminsky for Kim reasons. We put Grady Jarrett, moved him to D tackle which I still sub in them every now and then. Uh, we upgraded the new Jordan Davis, which I wish I still had the old car, but it's not really an upgrade. Like, mostly everything was just plus one on the car, except for, I think, finesse and power move. All of that went up tremendously, but everything else was a plus one. But, yeah, this man is nice. Um, I'm a Georgia fan, so watching him in Georgia... And then seeing him come to the NFL and do the same thing is amazing. Cam Jordan, even though he's a saint, I've always been a fan of Cameron Jordan. The man is nice. So it feels weird having Falcon skin on him, but I'm glad we can do that. So we rock it with him, Tariq Woolen. I got him back in the starting lineup. I had um Kobe and Darrell Revis. Both of them didn't pan out, so they they was good, but the height really shows in this game, and you can't really do nothing with short corners. Not saying Kobe was short, but like the Red Reavers, it's hard to do anything. So we're going back with the tall, tall guy. So Tariq, six four, Fabian, he does great in the slot. Antonio, I think he's six two. Antonio's one of my favorite corners. Him, DRC. Like, man. So, yeah, we got Dion still here. And that's pretty much the defense. Special teams is... Oh, we brought back the Scottish Hammer. 
I didn't upgrade him. I just wanted him for that special ability. So he gives all kickers and punters the D line and linebackers plus one agility. Um, he gives the kicker plus one kick power. Um, he gives the D line and linebackers impact or yeah impact block. I think that's what that is. I think it is. And he also gives them plus one hit power. So everybody on the defense, as far as D-line and linebackers, have plus one hit power. And that's his special ability to the team. So that's why we brought him back. Um, Specialists, we run in work done at third down so he can see the field more. But, like, this man can do it all, though. Damian Pierce is nice. Um... Judon, we got him in the right end because we do still run him on the field a lot. Him and TJ has been a dynamic duo. Or really, I can say a trio with Warren Sapp. They've been a trio out there on that D-line. Honey Badger is 99 overall sub linebacker, so that's why that's there. Um, strategy items for right now, we're running the real end. Strategy item on offense, which gives the right receivers and tight ends. Plus five catching traffic, plus two short route running, plus one spec catch, and plus one catching. Um, defensive side of the ball, I'm still rocking this ball, Hawkorn, because there's not a legendary item better than this. It gives them plus three man, plus three or plus two zone, a jumping, and a spec catch for all corners and safeties. Nothing is better legendary wise out there. Not yet, anyway. Um, team Affinity, we're running the Legendary Falcons one. Since I had a lot of coins, I went out and bought it. And it gives you an extra boost when it comes to the Falcon skin. So right now, we're 32 out of 35. And I really can't do nothing much. So, I mean, that's how we're just going to have to rock it for now. But it gives all Falcon player impact block, catching, awareness, throw power, and acceleration. And then we got the Super Bowl ring program. Got that today. Which it gives all Super Bowl players plus one speed, plus one acceleration. Um, everybody else on the team, it gives them plus two catching, plus two tackling, plus two... I don't know what that is. Impact block, I think. And then that looks like a plus one strength. So, yeah. Um... Running the Chiefs offense, Patriots defense steal, and visuals, they came out with these new ones, which they look nice. This one is dedicated to Hit Boy, the uh, producer, if y'all don't know. So the uniforms is nice. These are nice too. But there's some Falcon ones out there that I haven't seen yet that I'm trying to get. But we're at 95 overall, 96 offense. Yeah, guys, that's the team. Um, we're looking good. I'm hoping we can get... I was hoping they drop a Julio for the, the Super Bowl promo because that man balled out in the Super Bowl. And I feel like it's time for him to get an upgrade. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man, and I will see y'all in the next.